Evening everybody. I'm just going to wait for some of you to join and then we will start off with the chats. All very casual. So hope you have something nice poured to sit and listen to me for the next 15-20 minutes. But I keep it as exciting as I can. Some of you have joined there now, so that's great. So firstly, we'll go with the admin side of things and I'll formally introduce myself. So my name is Linda Quigley and I am a practicing pediatric nurse for the last 21 and a bit years. I have three kids myself, um, the eldest being 15 and the youngest being nine. So I've been there and I still am there. And that's why I have my page. So I hope some of you have or will find it useful in the uh, coming future. So I suppose my main aim is to keep everything very basic because if you trawl yourself back to the basics, everything will work out well. So first of all, I want to say I was so pleased that um, Clyde asked me to collab with them. I think it's fantastic in this day and age that we have a new online baby business and they are selling everything from baby nursery and toy story, a toy store um, products. And they also have the exclusive stock list for the early learning toys. And I have to say, hands up with mine, I always bought them. If you haven't and you're now on here with your first child, do invest in the early learning toys. I loved them because for two reasons. Um, cognitively, they're fantastic and they will never go out of date. And secondly, the second of all, they are very hard wearing. So they will last four years. So um, also, as well as that, they are very aware of being eco-friendly. So all of their packaging and their products are 100% recyclable. So if you join the Clyde crew, um, either today, tomorrow or uh, another day, you will get 10% off your first online purchase. So that's the admin out of the way. And we're going to start our chats. So I thought tonight what we could touch on was protecting our little ones um, during this winter season. And the season generally starts around now and it can run into April or May. I know I'm full of good news, but let's be positive. We've had a shocker of a year, so it can't get any worse, really. So what are colds and flus, I suppose? And just to generally kind of brief on them, they're both respiratory illnesses um, or conditions and they're caused by different viruses, but they are extremely contagious. So a cold, I suppose, can start off very slowly and can last longer, while a flu, unfortunately, can hit you like a train and it can be more severe um, and come on much quicker and it can last for up to about seven days. So the symptoms obviously are similar, but with the flu, they can be more severe. So the big thing is, how can we prevent catching either virus um, in our households and out and about? As I said, it's all about the basics and we've all become very good at our hand hygiene th thanks to this global pandemic that we're in the middle of. And the smallies are amazing, they're sponges. So they take everything that we say on board, but it's all about our technique. And there's two tips that I would give you when it comes to the hand washing. We all know that we're meant to sing happy birthday twice. We all know that it's meant to take 15 to 20 seconds. And we all know that each movement that we do is meant to take five five times. Tip one is wet your hands actually before you actually apply your pump soap. Tip two I would say is sometimes we neglect the base of our thumbs and the base of our thumbs can actually harbour a load of germs so make sure to give those a good old scrub and how I kind of um, get the kids involved is by saying it's a sausage in a blanket so give that thumb a good old rub so you're getting rid of the germs there. And the final tip I would give you on the hand, hand washing technique is the fingers in the palms. And it's not about doing little circles into your palms. It's actually about getting the germs out from underneath your nails. You mightn't see them, but their bugs can be sitting there. So by doing the round and round and round, as I say, ring a ring a rosy to the smallies, it's making sure that there is actually no bugs underneath your nails. So from a hand washing point of view, keep going. And soap and water, as you know, is just as efficient and fantastic as hand hygiene. So if a sink is nearby, all I say is do the hand washing technique. 
If you don't and you're out and about, a good idea would be to keep um, hand sanitizer in your car or indeed your nappy bag, wherever you are. And one other tip I would give you is that I always have um, antibacterial wipes in my car for when I go to the petrol station. So wipe down the pump before you actually put the nozzle into your car so you know that when you touch it now that it's clean. So moving on from there, I suppose the last tip regarding hand hygiene is how do we dry our hands? So we dry our hands with the household towel. So we often neglect the fact that, and we're all busy, we're all working, that, oh jeepers, did I change the household towel down in the downstairs toilet or upstairs, wherever. So try and change that regularly because the germs are going to sit on the towels. So as I said, hand sanitizer, perfectly fine if you've no sink available, but to me, hand washing is key. Second of all, again, the kids are amazing, but for coughing and sneezing, if you're not wearing a mask at the time, make sure to do it into the elbow crease. And that's a great way of protecting the spray that can actually spread either of the viruses, cold or flu. Disposing of our tissues, hands up, I've been totally on the sideline with the tissue, blow my nose, either do it the old 